Hello, America. Anyone? Anyone? This is Sean Bianca, GOP girl with Clean TV Live and True News for President Trump. Anyone out there? All right. Everyone's heard about it. It's been all the talk on social media. Sean Hannity versus Ted Koppel. Or maybe it's Ted Koppel versus Sean Hannity. This past Sunday on CBS's Sunday morning, there was an interview of which they cut it from 45 minutes. Sean Hannity's interview was cut from 45 minutes to less than two. Ted Koppel accused Sean Hannity of being bad for America and that his brand of journalism is harming the country. Well, Ted, first of all, I didn't even know that you were still alive. But, uh, Ted, I have news for you. The Democrats are bad for America. And the entire mainstream media is bad for America, with the exception of most at Fox News. And how can you say Sean Hannity is bad for America when most of mainstream media was reported in WikiLeaks to have been colluding with the Hillary Clinton campaign. Yes. And you want to accuse Sean Hannity of being bad for America? No. Most of MSM is bad for America because perhaps you don't like Sean Hannity's brand of journalism. Well, Americans have tired of fake news. Americans have tired of mainstream media's brand of journalism. On to, and wait a minute, before I go on to my next topic, let me just to name a few of the journalists that were in collusion with the Hillary Clinton campaign. Rachel Maydow, <laughs> what a joke. We knew about her. Uh, Diane Sawyer, Sawyer, George Stephanopoulos, Nora O'Donnell, Kate Baldwin, um, Brianna, K I don't even know half of these names because I don't watch these people. Um, let's just say most of MSM is was in collusion with the Hillary Clinton campaign. Most of it, and the journalists in mainstream media donated three hundred and eighty-two thousand dollars. Well. President Trump only received 14000 from MSM. So, no. Sean Hannity is great for America. As Donald Trump has been great as president for America in his making America great again, Sean Hannity helped make Mer America great again with his journalism and his reporting on President Trump and the truths of what were happening in America. Next subject, sanctuary cities. Obviously, um, you know what? I thought everyone knew about Rockville, Maryland. In my previous video, I said you had to be living under a rock, no pun intended, to not have known what took place in Rockville, Maryland, where a 14 year old was raped by two illegal immigrants ages 17 and 18. She was continuously raped and sodomized. Apparently, the two men took turns, and the superintendent of schools is accusing the parents of racism, and we have the principal, I, I believe, accusing the girl of being, uh, she consented. No, obviously she didn't. What I want to say is, is no. Most people don't know what happened in Rockville, Maryland. Apparently... If you don't watch Fox News, you don't know what happened in Rockville, Maryland. And that's a crime. So Ted Koppel, this goes back to you. This goes back to you and all of your fellow constituents that are not reporting the, the real news in America. The real news in America is, is a 14-year-old was raped and sodomized repeatedly in a high school bathroom. And mainstream media is barely, if ever, reporting on it. Because I have spoken to 
more people than I can count on my hands that had no knowledge of what took place in Rockville, Maryland. I call for castration. I call for a guillotine. I have a name for that guillotine, which I won't say, but that's what I call for, and deportation and end sanctuary cities. Thankfully, we have Jeff Sessions, who will be in the process of defunding sanctuary cities, or rather cutting the funds to sanctuary cities. I say we defund and we deport everyone. We defund all sanctuary cities. We end all sanctuary cities. Um, just briefly, I many of us obviously don't know anyone that's been directly affected by an illegal immigrant committing a crime against them. Someone read my blog the other day and they thanked me for it as they had a good family friend, a woman age 61 years old, who was a high school principal, who this month, it'll be 11 years, she was hit and killed by an illegal immigrant. He was driving, he hit her and killed her. So I now know someone that's been touched by the illegal immigration ramifications. It has to stop. America must come first. Americans must come first. And you know what? You can all thank Paul Ryan for funding, funding illegal immigration because it's Paul Ryan that helped pass Obama's bill to fund all of the Mideastern immigrants and all of these illegal immigrants in sanctuary cities. Paul Ryan, is he really a conservative? I happen to think not. That's another subject and that's another topic for another day. I've talked enough. enough. This is Sean Bianca, GOP girl, and Clean TV Live, and you can check out my blog. Please share it with those that don't know anything about Rockville, Maryland. And you can read my blog at www.gopgirlblog.blogspot.com. Sean Hannity, we thank you for your programming. We thank you for your radio show. We thank you for your patriotism. We thank you for helping President Trump make America great again. All right. Good night, guys. Thanks for watching.